Vivify Art asks, could you do a video on your Photoshop hotkeys? Of course I can. Here we go. All right, so I use Adobe Photoshop CS6. Although I'm using a PC, I'm using a Mac keyboard because I like how it's flat and the buttons are nice to me. So uh, I'll just go down the list. So for my brush, it's just B, right? You hit B and it changes to the brush. And there's a brush. For the eyedropper, uh, I hold Alt. So uh, it pops up. Now to actually use the eyedropper tool, you hit I so that it's permanently there. I never use that. Eraser, E, move tool, uh, control. So what I mean by that is uh, if you have a layer selected and you want to move it around, you just hold control and it'll move. Pan tool. So the pan tool is spacebar. So that lets me pan. I hold spacebar and this hand pops up and I can drag the screen around. That's cool. Uh, zoom, Z. So hit Z, magnifying glass. Zoom in and out. Now this has uh, scrubby zoom enabled. that's set the top. Uh, gradient tool, G. That with the gradient tool. T for text. P for pen tool. Uh, the pen tool lets you make paths and stuff and then close them and then fill that in or make that a selection. Undo, uh, like in every, any program, it's control Z. Select layer, uh, control while V. So while you have the move tool selected, it's up here on the top left. And by the way, it's V to get to that. You can hold control and select any layer. Right. It's useful for, for finding uh, layers if you have a ton of layers and you don't want to go through and look for something. So merge down is control E. By the way, if you're using a Mac, it's just command instead of control. Duplicate layer is control J, which also works on groups now. So you can take this group and duplicate it by hitting control J. New layer. All right, this is going to be weird. So for me, it's uh, control shift A. That is and the reason I, I made it orange is because that's not the default. The default is control N. So the reason I have it control shift A is because I'm right handed and my left hand is on the keyboard and I can easily make a new layer. Now the reason alt is orange here is because if I, if I do just control shift A, all right, to make a new layer, this thing pops up and I hate this thing. This should not be there. Although I, I've never seen anyone use it. What is the point? Whatever. Um, but if you do control shift A, but hold alt it makes the new layer without that stupid pop-up um but in order to do this with my hand it's this weird little claw uh situation going on and uh, i gotta change it to something like f2 or just a one button thing anyway delete layer Control shift d so if i have a, a layer selected and i hit Control shift d it deletes it if you go to edit keyboard shortcuts or Alt Shift Control K, you can go down and change all of the hotkeys. So if you want to change a layer hotkey, you click layer and you're like, okay, well, I want the new layer to be Control Shift A, etc. So to flip the canvas, it's Control Shift F. There is no default for it, I don't think. So you have to make something for it. And then the last one is Control L, levels. So if I want to take a layer and make it darker or lighter, and now there are far more hotkeys I air, but I just don't use all of them. These are the most common ones I use. There's obviously a bunch of ones that pop up here and there, but these are the ones that I use for painting and they're most effective. Uh, let's move on to the pen settings. So we come into us pro medium. And so for a uh, for right click, it's this bottom button. And so that way I can uh, right click and change the brush and for double click. For, oh, so like if I'm, I'm doing, if I'm using free transform, and I want to make it bigger and I want to finalize it, I can double click and then finalize it. Or you can hit enter and that's pretty much it. You could see that these are my sensitivity settings for pen pressure. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Vivify Art. Thank you. Here's a little sneak peek of what I'm working on right now. You want to stick around and see more.